Hello. Cat. Come, come on. <laughs> Pushing my headphones off my head. There we go. Oh, that's right. I turned off my music in this game. adventures in this game. What a fun idea. Once this chooses to load. Come on. Oh my goodness. Oh, almost done. Come on. Come on. Do it. Oh, it is dark. Oh. Where are we? What is this? Oh, it's my boat. Why are we leaning? Why are we listing so heavily to the side? Oh, and I've fallen. Yeah. <laughs> Why does my ship list so bad? Oh, it's because the gun is off-centered. So that's what we left off with last time? Huh. No, no, no. How do I... There we go. Do I have a control thing for the gun? Anything set up. Scuttle, ballast tanks, toggle button. Ooh. I don't I honestly know a clue what's going on here. So, turn to workbench. Does this have its controls set to something? Open breach is set to toggle button. I don't even know what's going on here. I, I, I don't even understand what's happening. Okay, cool. So we'll just... <laughs> Why does this exist? I don't even know. Okay, so we'll go to the workshop here, find a nice hull to mess around with. I'm gonna find something to mess around with. Um, 24 meters, and a twin hull, 32, 52, let's go 32. Much wider base than most other ships have. What do I want to mess with? What do I want to mess with? Let's see, what do I have to mess with? Control surface, uh, friction pad. What does friction pad do? High friction pad that grips any surface it touches. Interesting. <coughs> ah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I have to clear my voice so it stops like breaking up for some reason. Pneumat pneumatic, pneumatic piston. I don't know why I always try to pronounce the P. It's not silent. Expanded and contracted oh, suspension shock absorber that can be used to improve handling on up uh, sorry of land-based vehicles. A dampened hydraulic sprung piston. Interesting. 
pivot. Basic pivot that can move freely. Cool. So we've got large ducted fan. Can I make a hover boat? <laughs> Is that a thing I can do? Only operate underwater. The output force of this rotor is decreased when underwater. But it still works underwater. How big is this? Oh, oh my. That That is quite large. <laughs> um, I don't think I'll mess with those. Where's my, where's my block? There we go. Um, what else could I mess with? Solid rocket boosters. I mean, that's an idea, but I don't really, I don't know. I don't know if I want that. Fluid? No. Ooh, jets. Jets are fun. Why is there no music playing right now? That's kind of weird. Um, I have music turned on and it's not even playing. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see about writing something like this. Yeah, I'll turn that down. How loud is this? Just something instead of pure silence. There we go. Just something. Um, I guess I could try these. Try messing around with these. I know I tested with these in a different, like on a different computer. And it turns out that more compressors equals instantaneous jet ignition. More combustion chambers doesn't seem to do anything. Lots of turbines means no thrust that comes out the other end. I, I don't know about intakes. Jet intake. Intake will provide a greater airflow when traveling through the air. Wait, would that mean that if I... Oh, I wouldn't be able to do that though, would I? I was trying to think, like, if I were to have it on a rotating pivot, like, if it's rotating at a high speed, would that technically count as it moving? <laughs> Traveling through the air and make it suck in more air, but I have no way of connecting the two pieces together. Okay. I know these don't like water. They're not sealed either, and they don't care if, they're under, if their exhaust is underwater. Oh, I just thought of something. Fluid jet. We have fluid jet propulsion powered off of a jet engine. <laughs> no, that's just silly. What could I do? Actually, let's. Uh, uh, let's just spawn that for now. It's probably just going to immediately sink, right? No, it's actually okay. find some dry land where where is there's a hangar somewhere isn't there yes up there the O'Neill air base teleport here there is music again interesting no oh, doors Okay, let's grab a block here. Symmetry X. Imagine just building a boat up inside of something like this. Like you just build a boat on land. 
and then throw it in the ocean. Okay, so now that I have this, I'm gonna test some things. Also, why has my music just suddenly started working again? What is with that? See, son. Oh, I was confused for a second how the other music would stop, but now it's just changing. Okay, what, what am I doing again? Alright. Chat compressor. First step to any good jet engine is to have a compressor or two. In this case, we're going to have three. We want that quick startup. I find it annoying that this the jet duck straight is like so small. It's only one long. There we go. No, not large. Small. Just out of curiosity, I'm curious to know. Okay, now I can turn off the symmetry. So if I put in. Question chamber, one, two, three, and then we go four. And over here we just do one. And then on this side we're gonna put in one, nope, not that. Two, three. Go with equal number of turbines and combustion chambers. And we'll go jet exhaust. Uh, this shouldn't this shouldn't start moving things, right? Uh, hopefully not. I think if we just throw in a large battery, that should solve the issue of it trying to run away. And on this side, we're gonna go for. I don't know what this one does. Convert air pressure, pressure to RPS within a jet engine. This is part of a set of modular jet engine components. For manually starting using an electric motor, or for powering additional props and gener- Power 1000. Power 1000. Mass 20, mass 20. Why are they all power 1000? That's so weird. Okay, so now we'll do here, we'll do... One, two, we'll do four again. Oh my goodness, the last one lifted up again. Slop. And then we'll put the jet exhaust right there. Logic, electric, one, two. We got that. Boom, 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 boom. And this one, bang, 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 and bang. I don't know if they produce it, like if they produce electricity or not, but I can force them to, so. That's all good. How big of a generator should I maybe shove on one? Maybe I should not for right now, actually. Where's the torque meter? Where's that? Food pressure sensor. Where's the torque meter at? I've seen it before. Okay, okay, there. Torque meter. I don't know why it's part of propulsion, but it is. Let's have these here. We're gonna compare these. So those are gonna be compared. Uh, we need button. Uh, toggle button. We'll put that there. Throttle lever. And then dial. 
What's that? Oh, radiation detector. Wrong button. There. You know what? We'll shove all these on the battery just to give me like a... Can I... Oh, that doesn't work. What is happening right now? What did it just do? Why isn't it pointing the right way anymore? Goodness. There we go. Four. One. Oh my goodness, it's upside down. What is this doing? Other than being an absolute pain. Now we need one, two. I only need two. I need throttle levers. One. Please stop. Is this the same? Yep. Okay. And then we'll put thrust vectors in. Just so that, just in case it actually does manage to make enough thrust to move the platform. Go into the logic and we go. Connecting all of these. I wish I had like a connect all control. Like I could push like a but like control A inside of this and it would just connect it to all available nodes. That would be very useful, but I don't. So that's as far as I'm gonna go with complaining about it. Struggle lever. You. You. Zero to one, so yeah, okay. Uh, oh, there's two of them. I suppose for the first test we'll do check RPS. On the side. Oh, right there. This is like one to one to chamber to whatever, and then this is one to four. I need the throttle there. Boom. Just because it's going to be annoying about this. You. Set that to you. And we'll save this as jet test, because we're testing jets. Makes sense. Spawn. I don't know why I keep. So, uh, engine fuel's turned on, right? Nope. Okay, turn it on. Why aren't the lights on? It's too dark in here. That's better. So we want you to be set to one. You to be set to one. You set all the way up. You set all the way up. Shouldn't take too long. Just to see how loud this would be. It's not working. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's not working. Why aren't you working? Do I actually need to legitimately connect this to a fuel source? Like, do I actually need to put it connected to a fluid tank?
Although I've never... I don't think I've ever done that in the past, but... Yep. Just like that. Just on this side, I'll be even smarter about it. Just connect it directly. Let me select them. What are you set to? Diesel? Jet fuel. Jet. 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 And jet. Might also turn on symmetry for this one. Scroll down to the jets here. Jet duct cross. Like so. And I think that'll let it suck in more air. That allows more air. So that should be okay. Save that again. Overwrite that. Spawn. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> okay. So we'll start off putting that to no thrust. We'll leave her all the way up. Ah, uh, it's not spinning. Oh, the compressors are facing the wrong way. That would do it. Oh goodness, the things I do sometimes. Yeah, the air the arrows are there for a reason. Let, let's remember that. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that I actually did that. Like it's got these big white arrows on it that say face this way. <laughs> Although the thing itself is in the shape of an arrow that points the opposite direction it's supposed to go. Okay. <laughs> now that that is sorted out, let's try this again. Well. And we don't want to fly away. It's really foggy. There we go. a lot more RPS than the other. I don't remember which side it is. Top side is that side. Bottom side is that side. Let me make sure I did that right. Like I said that right. Top is... No, the top is that side. So the side with equal number of these has more. Okay, so since now I know they are all the same, I will now switch you to be Torque. Because now Torque is the real kicker in Stormworks. <laughs> Nothing moves if there's no Torque. So now we save that as Jet Test. Alrighty. The model lever up. Oh, is it already reading? The... That's a bit goofy. How does it just know that already? How? How does it just know? How does it just know that already? Oh, 
Oh, we are moving. Oh dear. No, off, 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 off. Huh. Good to know the torque doesn't change. So now I suppose what I can do is I can erase. No, turn off the symmetry. Negative. Three, two, three. Let me find the small, small, medium. Uh, these should all fit next to each other, right? Nope. All right, cool. Large generator is just too big. Oh. Oh, oh dear, it is quite big. Um, yeah, there seems to be quite a difference between some medium and large. You know, when it comes to propellers, so there isn't even a medium. There isn't even a medium. It's just medium. It's small. Or it's like tiny. What is it? Hold on. I don't want to say it wrong. Oh. Uh, it goes. Where is it? Small propeller, large propeller, and giant propeller. There's no, there's no small medium. There's no medium. It's just large, giant, small. Which is kind of weird when you think about it. Okay. So you. Oh, I forgot to do it on the other side. Let's see. Connected. I can't even. Yeah, that's connected. And then, oh, I know how to do this. Let me go. Small. And then. Medium. So, it looks a little different, but that's fine. We will just make sure to connect them the same. So first step will be large, and then you will be large, you will be medium, nope, nope, this side, medium, you will be medium, you will be small, and you will be small. Correct, that's all going to the right side, that's all going to the left, okay. We're all good now. Except we're not, because I need to connect this up. Save. Jet test. Spawn. Right. Let's see what happens here. Turn that on that on. Up it up. Uh oh, that side's not even moving. I don't remember what order I did this in. <laughs> Large, medium, small. Probably does need to have the compressors on at all times. And 
know, that means that if water were to enter that, it would explode and just stop functioning. Ears are ringing, what in the world? Okay. So now, big, big brain plan here. If I were to do four to one, would that garner like ridiculous results? <laughs> It is quite clear that the it needs to be one to one for this to function better. But like if I do four to one, and you want just to make it extra speedy to start up, we're gonna give her lots of this stuff. Oh yeah. This thing's gonna start up in half a second. As soon as we push the button this side's gonna start up. Okay, that's done. I'll grab a new push button. Like that, we grab a new throttle lever. Just like like that. We grab a cup. We grab a new dial. Boom. Connected for now. And I just need to grab one of these and shove her on there. And that's connected. And we're good to go. <laughs> this is just such an outrageous plan that I have. Throttle up, throttle up, throttle up. I didn't put an exhaust on that. Is that a problem? Ah, let's find out. It appears now. Oh goodness, that was loud. It's functioning. I'm not exactly sure why, but... Uh-oh. Oh dear. Oh no, what's happening? Oh, we're not this again. What is it doing now? Why is it doing this? Oh. Oh, why is it doing that? I'm not doing anything, by the way. It just does this now. Why? Why? But it's not doing the thing where, like, I would click one of these and, like, drag it. Oh, it is. Oh, why is it doing that? Why did it do that? Save. Check. Confirm. I just did that. Okay. I'm gonna have to try... Hmm? Oh, there's a person here. Once again, I apologize if I never notice, but... Because I don't see it actively. Okay, I'm gonna reload it. This should hopefully fix it. I wish it gave me timestamps on the chat messages so I could know, like, this person chatted it 
X amount of time ago. That would be really nice. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay. That was really weird. How are we doing? It might be stunted slightly by the fact that it does not have an exhaust. Um, let's let's try rectifying that. Like that. Logic. Thrust spoiler will connect that to you. There we go. Okay. Let's, let's try this again. Got a lever. Yep. Make sure we're not producing any thrust. And I might as well start the other ones too. Just erasing three of them. Let's grab those jet ducts. Fill that in. Is there a way for me to like... Hold on, my brain is thinking right now. Okay, what happens if I were to put a turbine thingy my bobber right here. I would put one of those there. What what happens to that? New electric. Electrically connected.
So it's actually schooling, which is interesting. So I don't even... I didn't even need it. Oh, it crashed right now. Certainly not happy about it. Alright, cool. So, I uh, tested that. Turn you to the workbench. Save this jet test. Exit. And now we. Where was I? Over here. back here. So now let's put what we've learned to use. So what we want is we want the one-to-one. -one. So we go jet. So we now know we want a compressor like that. Probably... Oh, wait, do we want our... Can this function completely sealed? Um, that is a good question. I guess we'll find out. I mean, considering it can exhaust full in a fully sealed compartment, I assume it can intake in a fully sealed compartment. And we'll just have to see if my assumption is correct. Oh, I should... Wait block should do this to help bring down my center of gravity just to help with stability because if there's no stability we have tippy issues okay how many of these can I line up in a row survey says hold on Seven. That took me a second to count. Why are you doing that? Stop. Stop. Why? Oh, why are you being a pain? Stop. Okay. So I can manually start them with an electric motor if I use one of the turbines instead. Oh, I didn't, I didn't test that out, did I? I didn't test how effective that was. Wait, wouldn't that technically mean that I could use like a hand crank? I'm pretty sure those exist. Come on. Let me put that down. This turbine has a torque connection for manually starting using an electric motor. Okay. Hey look, torque crank. Could I start a jet engine by cranking it manually by hand? Oh, I could be so mean to people who wanted who want to use this ship if I made made it so that you had to do it that way. Oh, actually, just in case I actually decide to do that, I'll leave the crank sitting on the side. That just seems like a funny idea to me. Those. Just gotta keep that symmetry going. I know this is going to use a lot, require a large amount of fuel, but like, come on, it's a jet, it's a jet-powered boat. What's not to love? Other than the noise, the noise is something not to love. Other than that, though. Suppose in order to connect all of these to fuel, we would have to do that. Do the one to. If we'll double it up, we'll do two turbines as well. Which apparently seems to be the most efficient as a one to one. Regardless of what I believe, 
it's it's most efficient because we saw it in the practice in practice oh my goodness this person is talking more i have not been noticing oh what is he saying controller mode interesting Oh, okay, that's interesting to know, because, yeah, I do have the force feedback things connected, so that could be doing it. Stealth chat, yeah. See, it pops up on the stream, it just doesn't pop up on my screen, because... Oh, wait, it does! Oh, okay, it does. It's really tiny, though. just noticed it when you put in stealth chat. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Yeah. Okay. So that's cool to know. It's just really tiny in the corner of my screen. Like, if I move my mouse, that's about a, I don't know, four, like, I don't know, nine square inch. Yeah, nine, nine square inch space where it actually appears. Yes, you have been discovered. Okay, so... Done this. You've gotten me off track. So, actually, I should check on that controller thing. Controls. Keyboard. Gamepad. Smoothing enabled. Keyboard. Pad 1, Axis 1. Gamepad, what is that? I'll have a gamepad activated. Wait, has it ass automatically assigned buttons from my racing wheel? Pad 1, Axis, Axis 1. What are you? I need to know. Let me try this over here so I can reach the pedals. Oh, it is, isn't it? Hold on. Yeah, <laughs> that's the gas pedal right there. What about you? Nothing. You, nothing. Oh, you're the steering wheel. That's goofy. <laughs> There's no force feedback, though. <laughs> okay, well, that's very goofy. And it's probably... Yeah, because look, all of those, which are that, that, and that. Oh. Yeah, look, it's doing stuff. Okay, well, that's very strange. Uh, anyways. One thing to note is these are not sealed. So if I were to have any part of these exposed to the open air, or like in the edge of a hull, it would quite legitimately just flood the entire area. Oh, hello timer. Jet exhaust. One, two, three. I could totally be using symmetry to make this take half as long, but I, I don't care. Oh look, a new person. There are some interesting jet engines, yeah. I agree, they're very interesting. They're also a bit silly in the way they work. Um, I think... I need... No, no, no. I need some of these angled ones. So I can do things like this. They'll all share in intakes because that sounds efficient. And actually, if I do it like that, they don't have to share an in intake. Can I? No. Can't click drag. Whoops. I need that back. There we go. Boop, 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 boop.
<laughs> yeah. Oop. Not many people have watched doing sad, like, Stormwork streams. At least there's not many people watching, last I checked. Happens if I touch that ax that pedal axis. Nothing. Why if I do this? Okay. Hard to find good Stormworks streamers. Yeah. I've done some streams in the past too. I did a little tutorials. Those were kind of scuffed, to be honest. <laughs> Unscripted, unplanned, just kind of winging it. But hey, I had fun while doing it, so that's all that matters. I feel like one of the things that I do that not... that maybe not other streamers do is that if you miss the stream, you can find it on YouTube. Because I do that. Because that's... I, I don't know. I just feel like it. I also don't do... I don't... Like one of my friends also does this like streaming and they're always trying they're always trying to get me to to use uh, Streamlabs or something or whatever it is that allows you to get sponsors and but I always tell them like I, I don't care about sponsors I'm not here to make money I'm here to just have fun but that's why I'm here this is a hobby not a job at least for me job for other people Do, 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 do. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing here. I'm just connecting things. Uh, okay. How much fuel will... Uh, how much fuel does 14 combustion chambers use? <laughs> Probably a lot. I don't even know what I'm doing, honestly. Half the time with Stormworks, it's just me doing things and just hoping it works. That's not how I built my my ship that I have on the workshop. That actually has hours of work put into it. I'm very proud of it. It, it still has its quirks, though, but I'm, I'm proud of my ship that I built. You know, I should really turn on the symmetry. <laughs> I keep just doing this on one side at a time instead of just using symmetry. Oh well. I'll remember it after this, probably. Yeah. I used symmetry earlier when I was testing out jets and figuring out what is what and finding out that the best, the like, golden ratio for these, if you can call it that, is a one-to-one -one ratio of combustion chamber to turbine which seems silly because you would think that like more chambers to a turbine means more power but whatever doop, doop, doop. I'm gonna probably need oh am I gonna need fluid pumps for this hmm at that you know how I said I needed to turn on symmetry <laughs> as I continue to not use it? Oh goodness. I don't I need to put fluid pumps down, don't I? Oh, they're too long though, aren't they? They're Oh my goodness, they're too big. No. Oh. So how am I going to do this? Okay. I think if I remember from experience, yep, that's how that works. Um, so that's... Ooh, I don't think I need those there. The suction should be enough. There we 
go. And connect all of that up. Like that. It would definitely make sense for the the turning point to be, you know, somewhat near the pumps instead of far away. The ideal placement would be halfway in between all of these tanks, but who cares? Oh, that's right. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. You two know each other. That's fun. Huh. You know what? Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever done a stream with one of my friends. Specifically not the one who actually does streams. Oh. 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 Haha. <laughs> it's red. I do know what I'm doing, sort of. I just tend to not really think about what I'm doing, and then I end up with problems along the way. Uh, okay, so now that that's all connected, that doesn't need to be connected to anything yet. Grab a couple large batteries. I really like these hulls though. might take some time to fill in because of that. Oh no. There we go. Where can I go that far? No, actually I did not. I stole it off of the Steam Workshop. I say stole. I downloaded it. <laughs> it they're very nice hulls. I like them. This guy that make made them we made quite a few i think they're called zone breaker if i remember correctly yeah that's why if you went back in the stream this hull is actually named large hull or very large hull x number of meters that's what he names all of his hulls by length i think it goes all the way down to like five meters or something it's like really tiny Okay, so now that that's sealed, that's all good. I need to connect the batteries up. I don't know if you guys were here when I said it. I don't. Maybe not, but you know, I had this thing, this little thing I said where I was like, I would like to have a button that I could push, like Control and then A or something, while I'm holding a node to just have it connect to all the available nodes. At least for electric, it would be very useful. Because now I have to go through here and click, 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 click. All of them. Every last one of them. It's, it's my issue I have with building big things, because there's a lot of things I have to connect. Yep. Um, I'll just throw some controls on top. One, two, three, and four. So that gives me all seven throttles. We'll put thrust. We'll grab some push buttons a push button actually we only need one uh, <laughs> I have to connect all of them uh, there we go oh I need an oh okay 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 I need another 
one for the pumps. I'll just connect that there. Oh, this is gonna get messy real fast. Oh, I don't need a toggle lever for that. Okay. So I'll just... No, I can't. I need a separate button, because it can't have the compressors and stuff on the same thing. We don't have electricity. There we go. And... Oh, goodness. There's 14 compressors, 14 combustion chambers, 14 turbines. And I think there's an equal amount of large fluid tanks. Just because I can. Sure. I'm just genuinely curious to see if this actually works. Lever. Boop, boop, boop. I, I don't want it going anywhere, as you know. Don't need it escaping. I wonder how many things would just straight up break. If I, like, had every single thing connected to the same lever. Like, every single one of them, every single control is connected to the same ones. You turn it up and every single one goes up. That would just be really <laughs> lazy and also probably cause a lot of problems. Alright, so let's save this as, I don't know. A goofy boy. Oh, another person. PID, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't know every little thing about this game. I don't even know if I have a hundred hours on it yet. Okay. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Yay, circles. <laughs> the steering wheel does stuff. No, brakes. Let me push both. How do I stop moving? Oh, I looked up. Oh, and I've fallen into the water. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Let me unplug this. Uh, which one of you is it? Should be the one under the highest tension back here. No, not that one. Ooh, which one is it? Oh, it's that one. Ah! I grabbed something. My mic got caught on something. Okay, I think we're good. We stop moving. Um, I'd like to go back up there, please. Boop. Is it floating? Ooh, it's floating. That's a surprise. And I missed. Teleport. Aha! You can't stop me. Actually, wait. Don't want to go anywhere. So turn on, turn off the thrust vector. Oh dear. <laughs> do 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 do. Just gotta. Oh goodness. Okay. Ba. Three, two, one. Kablamo. Oh, I was almost spot on. Currently, I'm not capable of seeing what the messages say. Is there pause for them? Why so many throttles? Simple, because why not? Because why not? Seriously, why not? We're not moving, right? 
Ah, those sound like they're revving up really high. Uh-oh. Something just exploded. Are they capable of over-revving? Um... Are engines capable- are jet engines capable of over-revving? Why did they all explode? I don't know. I'm just gonna grab, throw some generators on them. Just for now. This was their main purpose, was to be power generation. With the thrust being just an accidental side effect, basically. <laughs> Let me just casually connect all of these. I don't think Infinite Electric is turned on. I want to turn on Infinite Fuel. So this thing's been... All of my tests have been running off of not Infinite Electricity. I think. Okay, we'll save it. Certainly a goofy ship. It's not meant to really do anything. Ooh, okay. Okay. Let's see if I can... Huh. Yes. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'll leave the thrust vectors off this time. Let's see if we go flying. Actually, I might want a seat just in case. Uh, or a helm. I don't have a way of steering this ship. Oh, I do actually. Never mind, I do. Do I have a seat? Let's just grab a padded seat. Of course, it's too wide. Okay. Um, we'll use a helm then, just because that's a little more logical. And this way, I'll also, I do. The, oh, whoopsie! I clicked off the screen. Yeah, there we go. You know, I did test that if I needed an exhaust, and it seemed to slow them down, so I decided to put the exhaust on. And also because I kind of am going to use the thrust. Uh, okay, W and... no. Right, I can do this. So hotkey 1 does the throttles. Trigger space does... No, this you. Um, hotkey two can do that. Hotkey three can do up. Hotkey four can do down. Hotkey five can do down on all of those. I guess we are going to be moving, aren't we? So I should probably, and actually, I'm going to turn off symmetry for this, because it messes with it. Uh, rudder. It turns out that symmetry actually makes them go all weird, and makes them turn in opposite directions, which is a pain. You, sh you would not have liked the way my ship that I built looked. <laughs> it was, uh, it was something. We'll say that much. There we go. One, two, three, like that. I don't really like the song I'm playing right now. Can I skip it? I'm gonna skip it. If I can just... I don't really like this one. Mm, it's not letting me. Hold on. Right, I guess I'll find out if it's almost done or not. But... Oh, it was done. Okay. So by the time I decided I didn't want to listen to it anymore, it was already done. That figures. 
Oh, let's... Yes, because I want all of those. Why would it cancel my rotation again? I tend to, like, ignore the fact that I have a button that does the, uh, the other axis. I tend to ignore the J button when it comes to rotating things. I have A and D because that's the normal button. That. That. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest. I, because of how small the chat is when it appears on my screen, like this, this is the area it appears in. If you follow the mouse that's the area it appears in so I literally have to constantly stop to look at what's going on I also love that you guys are trying to tell me how to play and I'm literally could care less because I'm playing and what I do works so I don't care so now we go perfect that. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Given it controls. Ooh, I forgot that I can look in here. Should I be concerned that those aren't spinning at all? Hold on. No, not that one. Custom menu. Ah. Okay, so that's good to know. So those don't work when they're in a closed space, but the exhaust works fine. Oh, that's right. I wasn't sure. I'm pretty sure they didn't, but... That is some bright in there. Alright. Uh, what's the button I Oh, goodness. <laughs> Wee! I made a flying boat. I've made a plane. We. What happens if I just cut this now? Where? Oh, I'm gonna have crash land on the land. Is that water or is that a cloud? What does this look like from his perspective? It's just clouds. How far up did I go? Oh my goodness. Now... Oh, I seem to have landed in the middle of a forest. Some powering off of the damage, okay. Well, that was exciting. For me, anyways. I had made it all the way up. I mean, I did make it pretty far, though. So I guess I'll just need to... Maybe adjust that a little. I guess I should just... I could just spawn my other boat that I have. The one that I built. Oh, that was the wrong button. We'll save you as goofy boy. Why not? Oh, it's not here. Workshop. Yeah, this is my boat that I made. It's not perfect, but I mean, it's a pretty good boat. Ta-da. It has working cranes. It has a cargo deck. Um, its bridge is fully sealed. 
do one thing I usually do though. I, it, I don't have to, but I just. Oh, is it not? Oh, wrong button. Beep. Oh my goodness, that's fast. Okay, I don't remember it being that fast, but that's fine. At least it stops. It used to kind of roll to the side slowly. Now we do this. I'm just securing the cranes before we go. Another new person here. That's exciting. Oh, whoopsie. Yeah, that's really fast. I might have to. Ow, chest pain. Please don't do that. <laughs> I don't know if that's connected or not. There we go, that's connected now. Uh, there we go. Gosh, going from Minecraft to Stormworks is not a good idea. My brain is getting all kinds of controls mixed up. Okay, so that one's facing this way. Just because I like to equalize it, we'll make this one go this way. See, it's pretty stable, my ships. My ships being way more stable than usual, which is kind of nice. Usually it's listing to the side. Why so blocky? Um, because I'm not very good at... I don't have... This was my first ship I've ever built that I've actually put any serious effort into. So it's a little blocky, sure, but it's, it's my ship. I like that I put effort into it. For once. <laughs> okay, just... Nope! Oh, jeez. <laughs> I have fallen out of my ship. Okay. Boop. There we are. Okay. No, no, no. It's fine. This is actually the first ship I've ever put any kind of... I need to figure out... I need to figure a better way to close that door. Oh, there is a better way, isn't there? I can just open the other side and use the magic of Stormworks and reach the other side. You want to look at the bow? Uh, the bow is not too impressive. Hold on. Oh wait, I have photo mode. Aha! Finally, a use. Okay. So the hull of this is not, the bow is pretty blank, nothing on it, and the actual bridge is inside the bow, right here, this is the bridge. It's kind of empty. I did have plans to put other things here, but I couldn't think of what to make it, so I just kind of left it empty. Down below, got a med bay, There's some emergency supplies behind here, uh, this is in case we get, you know, run into some pirates or something, got guns. Uh, this is just a space, there's some emergency stuff back here. Cargo hold 1, cargo hold 2, cargo hold, oh, sorry, fuel tanks. Cargo hold 3, cargo hold 4. That's access to the engine compartment. Uh, we've got a little dining area. Back here is a jail. <laughs> I decided to put a jail in. Don't worry about it. This is more emergency supplies down here. So you come down into here. Controls for the engines, generators. This was a mess, but it works pretty well actually. This is the generators back here. I had to add some extra fuel in because uh, they actually were running out of fuel. Exhaust, of course comes up to here. It comes, all the exhaust converges out of these two ports. Air intakes. Got some passenger cabins. 
I know, very nice. Um, there's just empty rooms back here. I meant to put more cabins, but I never did, so it kind of is what it is. Uh, down here, there is it's the secondary med bay, just a little tiny one in the bottom. These are fuel tanks. This is a scuttle. I have a scuttle feature, batteries. I have thrusters too. There's other fuel tanks. These are, oh, sorry, no, this is, is this liquid cargo then? I don't know, I don't remember. I think that was liquid cargo, but I never really figured out if it worked or not. We have a refueling. I don't remember which is which anymore. One was for refueling, one was for filling the cargo, fluid cargo. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I, I thought it was a pretty good ship too. I certainly put a lot of effort into it, like hours. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm gonna go start this up, because I find this a fun experience to just use. Also, I actually did proper, like, um, circuit breakers, so if I get hit by a megalodon, my entire ship just fails. It's quite lovely. Fuel pumps on. Yeah, so you can see the effort I put into it with the fact that I named all of these cooling systems. Also, I did it so it reads RPM. I'm kind of proud of that. Generator left, generator right. Start, start, there's a the cooling system. Pretty loud, but I mean, they don't explode, so. Yeah, up. And actually, this is why in the bridge, when you sit in the captain's chair, it gives you the headset so that it muffles it. Flow of the game, you can do anything. That is, that is pretty true. Yeah. Actually, the first problem I had with this ship was the fact that it was too fast, and it would lift out of the water. <laughs> so then I got the idea, huh? I could make a really fast ship. I'm just really good at that. Search up the W S. Oh, search up on the workshop R M S. Muritania. Is that your ship? Do that. You can't see what I'm doing, but I am actually opening the workshop right now. Workshop. How do I get back? Workshop. Search. RMS. Tania. 
Oh, there you go, Stormworker. Ooh, you have four stars. What DLC does it require? I think. Or is it add-on? Missions, large boat. Oh, it's a big boat. Okay. Lusitania. Oh, cool. That's a pretty cool looking boat. I might try to spawn that in a little bit. I'm sure the computer can handle it. How do I... Okay, let's find... how do I... do I just have to... There we go. Ta-da! Look at it go! Look at, look at how much it zooms. Oh, it's set to the axis. Why is that like that? Uh, is this...? No, is it...? Oh, no, oh, wrong way. Yeah, I have a trim because it leans so much. I know, it's, it is it is fast. I don't know if this is top speed or not. Uh, the speed's not working. Oh, I just pushed one. I didn't. Okay. So it's low. That's medium, and high gear. And then to turn, I have to do this. I have to use the thrusters to turn. So this side doesn't work too well. Like how it leans. I don't know if this one... I don't know if those reset or not, but... Oh yeah, they do. They are set to reset. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm turning. It's also surprisingly hard to to flip. I've actually leaning while turning is common on ships. Yeah, I know. But this one does. It. There's a torn. No, go away, tornado. If I do a tsunami, like it seems really tippy most of the time, but it's actually surprisingly not. It's surprisingly hard to tip. Okay, let's... let's not crash into that, please. It is turning, though. It is a pretty stable ship, I must admit. It's being really well-behaved at the moment. Oh, dear. Oh, are we going to make that? <laughs> Look at the lean. Oh, jeez. Are we going to make it? Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, it hit the thrusters. Nope, we, that was a direct hit. No, it did hit the thruster. <laughs> it hit the... What? It hit the back thruster? How does that make any sense? Oh, goodness. Uh, hold, hold on, hold on. Reverse. Ah, uh, that's a problem. <laughs> it, it's it broken. It's broken. Back to our French. Where's the tsunami at that I called in? It's coming, obviously. Where is it? Hello? It's... Where is it? Where is the tsunami? Oh, it's over. Oh dear. Get on the ship. <laughs> oh, it's right there. Up we're here. Oh, it's coming. Get in the ship. Get in the ship. Get in the ship. Get in the ship. 
Jeez, we're gonna get broadsided by a tsunami. Uh, hold on, actually. Oh, that actually freezes it. 90% scale. Yeah, sorry, this whole thing is going... Like, this chat is going by and I'm not paying attention to it. Okay, cool. Physics detail on low for more performance. I'm genuinely curious to not do that though, it's just because you've told me to do it. And up we go, we're rolling. We're completely submerged. We are sideways. And it just, yep, rolling. Rolls over. And it just stays upright. We actually moved backwards. But also, look at the look at the little bit of damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage, actually. Oh, look, you can see the little refueling thing. Pretty sure. What are you? Are you refueling? Is that refueling? I think that's the refueling one. So where do you go? Right there. Okay, you can you can be quiet now. Stop. Alright, let's clean up the mess here. I'm gonna regret this in about five seconds, but I don't really care. Oh, let me out. Let me out. No, oh, let me out of the ship, please. Please, I beg you. Let me out of my ship. Oh, Jesus. Oh, dear. Oh, jeez. No, oh, let me out. Oh, jeez. Oh, and my ship is gone. <laughs> Yeah, I was pretty sure I was going to regret that pretty quickly. Where am I currently? Very far away. Okay, so put myself here. Oh no, the forest is burning. <laughs> burning over there too. Oh, those are just houses. Um, clean all vehicles. Oh my goodness, can it please stall? Okay, how do I spawn in the missions again? I don't remember how to do that. Add on, add on editor. There we go. Load. Workshop. View. I think that select location. No, not that. No, back. Submit one. Interesting. <laughs> okay, how do I start it? How do I make it work again? Test location. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait. Where'd it go? Where's the custom oil rig? Did it did it spawn it or am I just gonna have to go find out myself? Is that over here? That's the custom oil rig, right? Let's have a look. Oil Rig Island. Considering the time it's taking for this to load, I'm assuming I picked the right spot. Oh, there it is! <laughs> Vehicles load with a large file size. Ten, greater than 10 megabytes. Warning of you. That's a lot of warnings, but you know what? We're perfectly fine. Wow, that is massive. So if I teleport here. It's... uh-oh. Why is it tipping over? Or is it okay? Is it just settling? Nope, okay! <laughs> uh, do I need an infinite electric turned on for this? <laughs> I think so. Um, I, I broke your ship. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, hi, cat. Um... I, yeah, I see that. It was probably in the description, though, wasn't it? Respawn it? Oh, I can just do that, can't I? Chat, 
check. Oh, that's a test. Let's see if I fall through it. Leg spike. It appears. Uh oh, I better move. Three, two, one. There it goes. It's quite a leg spike once it spawns in, but once it settles, it's pretty good. And this is without heating your idea of, you know, uh, whatever it was, turning down the picks, the whatever detail down to low. Okay, now I'm just gonna have to find the. Is this a door? Interesting. This ship was the fastest ship in the world for two decades. Oh, cool. How do I... Can I open any of these doors? <laughs> Hold on, let me see here. Which side of this ship am I at? That's the stern. Okay, I need to go this way. I can tell how it's scaled down to 90 because I'm not exactly... You know, I'm a little taller than me. Oh no, oh, that's pretty close. Okay. And I'm zooming. Oh, look at this man go! <laughs> oh, don't do this. Workshop. Uh, is there an engine room I have to find my way to? Oh my goodness, it leans. Uh, is this where I need to be to drive the ship? F control handle. Uh, is there an engine room I need to be aware of? Or is it... Does this move? <laughs> I, I'm curious, does it move? Does it have brothers? Oh, telegraph up, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's wrong way. Full steam ahead. Full steam ahead. Let's go. Oh dang, it's going. Alright. I guess I should do what every good person does when they get a cool ship. Put it through its paces. Like for a scuttle feature, all those doors and stuff. Uh, I, much, yeah. I noticed there was, yeah, there's some interior done in here. It's kind of nice looking. But, I mean, that's because it's got you know, open air stuff. So you kinda had to model it. Unless there's other stuff that's not modeled, but that's fine. Because modeling it would have had probably crashed in those computers. I mean what I did just did probably would have crashed in those computers anyway. Oh, do the funnels like collapse when it sinks? That's cool. Oh! Wait, there's lights behind me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff bridge wrong. I think there's, there's a like bridge with a D in it. Oh look at it all lit up. Hold on. Oh, right time, right time. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that moody? The is really loud. Oh, there's already a tsunami on the way. That's exciting. Wait, where is that coming from? The tsunami. Environment, please. 
Where's the entrance at for this thing? Just out of curiosity. Oh, I can hear the engines revving up and down as we go through the waves. I'm assuming the engines are there, I just can't see them. Okay, so those propellers don't move. That's cool. Uh, we'll get the current time to, I don't know, that. There's the rain. Oh, I do have fog turned on. Okay. So, where's my tsunami at? It would be following the waves, right? So it would be coming from ahead of me, but I haven't hit it yet. It didn't despawn it on me, did it? Wait, two and three down on the skylight. Oh! Oh, cool! Okay. So how did I get there? Let's see if I can figure out on my own how I get there. Is there a door down there? Um... Supposedly there is a, there's a tornado over there. There's a tornado. Uh, I guess I'll just do that and that. Do that. Uh... Megalodon's probably a bad idea, so we're not going to do that. Okay, let's go find those first class areas. Okay. Oh, I see, it's open. Okay, cool. Interesting, it's not like... I guess it probably all floats too high up for this to fill with water by itself because of, you know, Stormworks physics. Ooh, how far down can I go? Oh, that far. Alright, cool. <laughs> Alright, cool. I guess I'll go look through the ship bit. Wow. Nope, I can't go that way. Luckily you haven't modeled too too much, so it's not really likely for me to get lost down here. I, I still wouldn't put it past me to somehow get lost, even though I have literally no ways to go. Oh, goodness. Oh no. Eh. <laughs> oh, no. Why is the stairs so weird to go up? I don't get it. Why can't we walk up like this one block step? Why can't we walk up that? So weird. Look, clock. It's not set to the right time though. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what I expected. I guess it's set to whatever time it was set to. Yeah. Yeah. Does it change? Is it right? Okay, let's try to get out. Can't go any further that way. That's pretty cool, though. Okay. Try removing. Moving this way. Okay. Is there a scuttle button somewhere so that I can push? I'd like to push it, although I don't think I'm in deep enough waters. Okay, so we want to turn that way, so we want to telegraph down you. Yep. There we are. Ooh, ooh, that actually turns. That turns nicely. Look at that. That's the best way to show this is by doing this. Returning. Not. Uh, how deep is the water here? Oh, actually, the water looks pretty deep. Okay, so we might just... We might just turn the telegraph back up. Um, 
And then it's what it looks like scuttle things. How do I? Oh, right there. Okay. Yep. <laughs> and now we sink it to the bottom of the ocean. Uh, what is that? I don't quite understand what's happening. I don't see anything happening. Um, I pushed the button, but nothing's happening. Did I do something wrong? Oh, stop ship first, okay. Oh, right, because weird Stormworks physics, while you're moving, things don't fill. So now will it fill? Let me stop the ship. Um, uh -oh. Let me try, let me try cycling it. Okay. Um, no, it's not working. I, I don't know why it's not working. Why isn't it working? It, I can see where it's supposed to be filling it with water, but um, it, it's not. It is, it's flooding, but Stormwax particles don't show. Okay. If I put on waves, maybe that'll help a little bit. There we go. Put on some waves. Oh, oh, I saw the particles for a second. Yeah, that's really weird. The particles are appearing for a second and then disappearing. Oh, that reminds me, my ship has a scuttle feature. So that's what it's called. It's called a scuttle. Oh look, there we go, we had particles for a second. It's just being weird for some reason. You know, I kind of wish I had... You know, my inventory had one of the guns in it so I could go shoot holes in it, but... I don't, so... Ooh, you know what? Kraken. Mr. Kraken over here. I don't know if he'll attack a standing still ship. I don't know if he needs like the noise from the ship to attack it. Let's just to make sure we're making some, some noise here. So 12. Oh, those seem like they're going really far in now. Um, really moving. Seems like we're going really far under the water. Like just that. Hey, look. Crashing over the deck. Is there a tsunami on its way? Ooh, a whirlpool. Back in up here. Right there. Right next to us. Yes. Suck in the ship. Wonder if the magnets will split apart. That'd be interesting. Okay, let's see here. Yeah. You know. Oh look, it's Mr. Kraken! He's appeared again. He doesn't seem too interested in the ship, if I'm gonna be honest. He 
like right next to it. Just attack the ship, Kraken. That's your job. You attack the ship and you drag it underwater. It just shows how deep this water is. Look at, look at the Kraken down there. Oh no, that's a shadow. Okay, so there's... Oh, uh oh, we've tipped over. Are we finally filling with water? Hello? No. The answer is no. We are not filling with water. Oh, he attacked the funnel. Well, that was mean. I need that to pollute the air. From attack. This is not looking too great, but at the same time, it's being completely fine. 240 storm works meters long. Huh. Wow, That's impressive. No way it's flipping itself up right. No, there's no way it's gonna do that, right? No, 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 it's flipping itself back upside down. Kraken, come on, just attack it! Fine, Kraken, if you're not gonna do it, I'll spawn in the Megalodon. The Megalodon will do it. I think I spawned multiple. I'm not entirely sure though. Come on, just attack it. Yes? Yes? Come on, take a bite. Is trying is trying to bite off more than it can chew. Is there Megalodon here yet? Is that the ocean floor right there? This is full. Oh yeah, this is full of water. <laughs> that figures. Actually, the entirety of the interior here should be full of water, right? Yeah, it's all full of water. Okay, goodbye. Is Mr. Kraken gonna attack more or is he? Nope. Became a dolphin. Yeah, this is really anticlimactic. <laughs> I was hoping for something to happen, like it would split apart or maybe it would sink, but nothing of the sorts has happened yet has happened yet. Oh, oh, there's water in here. There's water in it. It's not being too nice. Ship just appears to not enjoy being upright. And it's in a whirlpool. Oh, the mango dog's here. Well, I'm getting bored, so I'm going to spawn in a couple meteor showers. Is a bad idea, probably. Do I care? Nope. <laughs> and we go hide UI and unpause. We can watch for the twinkles. The approaching. There they come. How are we looking under here? Is that a hit? So. Oh, maybe it has been hit. Certainly getting uh, jostled around a bit. Really, is that it? That's it? That's all it had to give me? Is this ship gonna sink or what? Are you filling with water? Oh, this is so trippy. Okay. What in the world is happening? Yeah, this should be filling with water. Oh, is it almost submerged? It's just... okay. Cancel the whirlpool? Let's see what happens to the ship once I cancel the whirlpool. Does it just sink, or does it just magically flip itself upright? I thought that the funnel jiggled. 
There's no way. There's no way it just flips itself up right. What was that noise? There's no way it just flips itself up right. What is that noise? Oh look, you can see the water particles inside of it. How? How? How did it flip itself upright? It was completely upside down. Alright, that should do it. <laughs> oh, oh, it's still grabbing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright. Go to mode. Pull the player off. Here we go. Say goodbye. If one manages to hit, that is. Okay, there we go. And the ship is no more. Oh goodness, this is bright. Holy cow. There is still more coming. Oh goodness. I think it's safe to say the ship is no more. So will I go off into like the stratosphere or at the bottom of the sea? Oh my goodness, the screen shake is This is fine. Clean all vehicles. I I don't know if they're still falling or not. <laughs> Please let me up. Out of the ocean. Okay. I think we're okay now. Eh. Am I stuck in? Is this a tsunami? What is this tsunami? Oh, that's lovely. Is that C4 neutral. Blink. There's more! I saw that! There's more coming! I saw that, but it wasn't done exploding yet. Alright. Well, now I'm gonna take out my own boat again. Just because it does have its own scuttle feature. It's like the other boat. Cancel the tsunami. Get rid of the wind. This is the right door, right? Yep. Down I go. No, we're slowly moving. Now we're going. I think it, this works better at the lower speed. Yeah, you gotta slow down the turn. There we go. I knew there was some sort of catch to it, because I remembered it worked really well. We 
go zoom. Because our thrusters won't work if they're out of the water. Oh, a little too far. There we go. So this water is not deep enough yet. So it must like really drop off over here. Oh wow, it gets really shallow. It must just drop off. If I look here, I have scuttle, fill ballast tanks, toggle button. Isolate lower compartments, locks all the hatches. You know, all the hatches down there, including I think the main one to get into the engine room is now locked. There's a little one right there. Just see it for a second. Uh, is this enough water for it to sink? I don't think so. Not yet. You can see all the hatches on the bottom that let it sink. So it's supposed to sink front to back, but it tends to sink back to front because of the way Stormworks works. Now we'll activate Scuttle, it opens, everything starts to fill, this area, this area, uh, that area, yes that area, no, it just doesn't take very long and all of a sudden it's, it's sinking. Maybe if I unisolate the front compartment so the back starts to fill. I don't even know. Nice scuttle. It doesn't work super fast. But it might if I do this. Does that make it fill faster? Where did all the water go? Alright, whatever. I don't know. I'll isolate those. I wonder how far, how long the... Like... Oh yeah. See, you would be able to... You wouldn't really be able to tell... You would be able to tell because, you know, the water is really close to the camera. And if you look at this one, the water's pretty far. Whoop, see, that activated the reverse. That shoot. I think I just killed, I just killed my engine. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, that's a self Don't activate reverse while you're moving at top speed. Never ends well. Now it is locked. Actually, here. I do have the gun, so I can just break that and then get in. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna go the other side of the ship. Oh, the light. And the generator is so loud. No. Hard to tell that I'm sinking. Never mind. It's not hard to tell that I'm sinking at all. Mamma mia, I have a piece I must go and unlock the door. There we go. I love that that works. Alright, we're moving again. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's so weird that that's just blow over. That door? Open. Open. Yeah. Yeah. This is just to make sure that these actually... Yeah, 
that doesn't affect that. Just to make sure the entire ship floods. Not that that affects it at all. Yeah, that really does anything over there. That's done, that's done. Right here, yep. How, how far are we, we dipping in the water here? Am I underwater yet? No. Okay. That's fine. Fair enough. Yeah, there we are. We're definitely sinking. It's not clear from the amount of water sitting over there, then I don't really know what else to tell you. There we go. Speed. Oh. Trim. No way. Is it capable of lifting its nose out of the water again? Yeah, see this is my thing. It's like... Filling, but it's filling front to back for whatever reason. Oh, there's doors I need to open. We'll let, we'll let the bridge be sealed. I'm a okay with that. Nope. Yeah, yeah gremlin. Gremlin mode activated. That. Down here. That. That. That one. That. Actually, that is not. We'll just be as unsafe as possible by making every leaving all the doors open. It's exactly what you do on and how you be responsible on a ship. You leave every single door open. So that when the ship starts to fill with water, everything fills with water. That way you sink quickly. Oh, you know what? I need to fill the ballast tanks. That'll help this out. Yeah, there we go. Get those ballast tanks filling. Do, do, do. I see here it goes again. It's sinking front to back to front instead of front to back like it was designed to. I, can, I guess I can force it to do front to back by like, using the trim. I will force it to do front to back sinking. Okay, let's check. Camera gone under. It has no sign of water yet because bridge is sealed. Everything else is not sealed. And yeah, now my ship just sinks and disappears under the water. There it goes, disappearing. The funniest thing will be that the engines will be running still, because I have the infinite fuel turned on. to level itself for some reason. Oh, away we go. Is the back end gone underwater yet? Oh, whoopsie. Oh, I just killed my engines again. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, my engines died. Guess I'll just sit here and wait. Does doing this now affect anything? No, because we're not moving. Make it more dramatic. Waves. Do, do, 
down. Just sink, please. Sink. Sink it down. Never let it return to the surface. I suppose I could help this by... Might as well add as much water in as possible. It's a very large portion of this that's not actually full of water yet, such as the jail. The jail's not full of water, it wouldn't be full of water at all if I closed the doors. Those aren't going to fill with water ever. That's not filling with water, it's not deep enough yet. Those are always full of water once it's deep enough. This is filling oh so slowly. Yeah, this thing actually takes a long time to sink, even considering its size. And the scroll actually doesn't work if you consider the fact that, that basically the whole thing is full of water now. The only reason it hasn't finished sinking is because, well, it's filling. Oh, it's tipping. And it's flipping. Well, there we go. It flips and then it disappears forever. Possibly. So all the air is in here. Oh, the engine room's not full yet. The thing isn't full yet. Interesting. Is that gonna fill? It's filling, right? I don't know if we get rid of the wind. And then it just settles. And does it disappear? It takes forever to sink. Like you would think that it wouldn't have that much space left to fill. Oh, wait. Are those doors closed being closed actually causing it to not be able to sink? Wait, what? This, thing, this isn't even full of water. Yes, I can't make it out. No, it's trying to suck me in. Ah. No, it's trying to suck me in. No. Close the door. It's stuck on my feet. No, don't shuck me in. Come on, go, go, go. Ah. Oh. Oh. Maybe it's up. This area is really full. Cool. It's like almost underwater. Outside. It's so loud, so... There we are. Oh, look, it's my reverse camera. Am I sinking, or what? Does that help? into it. I don't know if this actually does anything to help them in filling with water, but you never know. That's not even full of water yet. It's filling really- it's, I don't even think it's filling at all. Am I doomed to sink? No, it's still sinking. There's much 
damage into it as possible before I can't hold my gun around anymore. This has been the most anticlimactic, like, sinking ever. It just, it refuses to sink. It doesn't want to sink. I'm forcing it to. Is that another tornado? My goodness, tornado alley over here. So I can still reload it. Oh, finally. Finally. I finished sinking. Get the shadow over there. So small in comparison. It's still sinking incredibly slowly though. Oh wait, there's actually look there's particles coming out of there. That's cool. Oh it's finally like Set down on the ground now. Oh, oh dear. Oh no. I've been. Oh, I think it's just. Why am I stuck? Can I, can I not be stuck, please? Can I not be stuck, please? Oh, I'm stuck. Oh well. How did I manage to make it? Oh wow, I made it really far. Confirmed. Oh, that was fun. Goodbye. <laughs>